In a significant move to bolster regional security, the United States has announced an initiative to enhance the Philippines' maritime surveillance capabilities in the South China Sea. This effort, unveiled during a recent visit to Manila by U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, is part of an expanding military cooperation between the two nations in response to growing geopolitical tensions in the Indo-Pacific region. As part of the initiative, the U.S. will supply the Philippines with additional Mantis T-12 unmanned surface vessels, USVs, under a $500 million foreign military financing program. These advanced vessels, developed by the U.S.-based company Martak, are designed to enhance the Philippines' ability to monitor contested waters in the South China Sea. The provision of the Mantis T-12s builds on a series of defense assets supplied to the Philippines since 2021, including Scan Eagle drones and Cyclone-class patrol vessels. The Mantis T-12 is a versatile and highly capable unmanned system, with a length of 3.6 meters and a payload capacity of 64 kilograms. These vessels are powered by an electric propulsion system and can be deployed from shore, ships, or smaller vessels, offering flexibility in operations. One of the key features of the T-12 is its stealth capability, which allows the hull to submerge partially, making it ideal for low-visibility missions. The system's advanced sensor integration includes electro-optical-slash-infrared, EO-slash-IR cameras, sonars, lidars, and acoustic modems, allowing for a wide range of military applications, such as mine countermeasures, intelligence gathering, reconnaissance, search and rescue, and electronic warfare. The T-12 is also capable of operating in swarms, providing enhanced operational flexibility. Its burst speed of over 30 knots allows it to quickly cover large areas, making it well-suited for tasks like port security and environmental monitoring. These capabilities not only strengthen the Philippines' defense efforts, but also demonstrate the increasing role of unmanned systems in modern maritime operations. The use of USVs like the Mantis T-12 has proven successful in various conflict zones, such as the Black Sea, where they have disrupted enemy activities and limited operational capabilities. Austin's visit underscored the U.S. commitment to the Philippines' defense, particularly under the Mutual Defense Treaty, MDT signed between the two countries. This treaty commits both nations to mutual assistance in the event of an armed attack, including on Philippine military forces or public vessels, such as Coast Guard ships, in the South China Sea. This recent provision of Mantis T-12 USVs is part of a broader effort to help the Philippines safeguard its sovereignty and exclusive economic zone, EZ, in the face of increasing challenges posed by regional adversaries. The Pentagon's replicator program, which aims to leverage drone technology for strategic purposes, aligns with this initiative, highlighting the growing significance of unmanned systems in military operations. Analysts, such as James Holmes from the Naval War College, suggest that the deployment of drones in strategically important waterways like the South China Sea could hinder adversaries' naval and aerial operations, raising the cost of their actions in contested regions. However, experts caution that while drones are a cost-effective tool for influencing enemy strategies, they are not without limitations. Retired Navy Captain Jan Van Toll warns that electronic warfare and physical barriers could reduce the effectiveness of unmanned systems in certain scenarios. Despite these challenges, the Mantis T-12 and other unmanned platforms remain critical assets for modern military operations, offering significant advantages in surveillance, reconnaissance, and defensive capabilities. This development highlights the United States' growing support for the Philippines and its broader strategy to strengthen partnerships in the Indo-Pacific. With the addition of Mantis T-12 USVs, the Philippines' maritime surveillance capabilities are set to improve, providing both defense and strategic advantages in the increasingly contested waters of the South China Sea. As the region's geopolitical landscape continues to evolve, this cooperation is expected to play a vital role in maintaining stability and securing vital sea lanes. Thank you.